Welcome back from your break. This is Bearcat TV, the new show specifically designed to help keep ISN's middle school students firmly in the know. My name is Ms. Boomarts. And I'm Mr. Harsky. And we are your hosts. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd. On this week's Bearcat TV hit list, we have upcoming parent-teacher conferences, sustainability with Ms. Pekin, and sustainable transportation in Manila. Let's dive right in. First on our hit list is upcoming parent-teacher conferences. Right now, your parents can still sign up for a 10-minute Zoom conference with your teachers. Conferences are taking place from Tuesday, November 10th through to Thursday, November 12th. Each of these days, students will only have classes to 11.30. There will be no afternoon classes for students. Parents will be meeting your teachers from 12.30 to 5.30 p.m. each day via Zoom. There will be a few changes to your schedule next week. On Tuesday, November 10th, we'll follow a regular morning schedule. On Wednesday, November 11th, grade six will have some changes in their schedule. Grade six, you will begin the day with C block followed by D block. Grades five, seven, and eight will follow their regular Wednesday morning schedule. And lastly, on Thursday morning, all grades will follow an altered schedule. On Thursday, November 12th, the first block for all students will be B block. The second class will be C block and the third class will be A block. Rest assured, an email will be sent to all students with this new schedule. Our next topic this morning is about sustainability. Let's hear more about this topic from Ms. Pekin. Thank you, Ms. Blomarts. Each year, our school sets a goal so that we may continue to grow as a school to be the best school we can possibly be. I know many of you have set yourself goals in classes or just personal goals, either short term or long term. We call school goals school-wide priorities. They are typically an area of focus for one to two years. The decision as to which goal to choose comes from feedback from student surveys, faculty and parent surveys, other school-wide data and conversations that take place each school year. Last year, we chose a goal of sustainability, and this is continuing into this school year as well. It also aligns with our school-wide mission statement. What part of our mission statement aligns with this goal of sustainability? If you said involve our community in sustaining and safeguarding our environment, ding, then you were correct. One simple definition of sustainability is meeting the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future. This could be food, water, energy, clothing, transport and many products we use each day. It's an important topic and there are some awesome ways we can all live more sustainable. Last year our focus was BYOC, bring your own container. And when you come back to campus you'll also need to bring your own cup, plate, fork, spoon in order to purchase food. Today I'm just going to share one sustainable tip which was also shared in the most recent edition of Balatang Bamboo and comes from Hey Min and the heading of her article is Single-Use Masks Are the New Plastic Straws. Eh. So can you guess what today's sustainable tip is? We are asking everyone to only use reusable, washable masks. You, me, your family, your relatives, your friends, everyone. In fact, anything you can use over and over is always a good idea. The alternative is using a single-use product which creates enormous amounts of trash and often ends up in our oceans and killing marine life. So our sustainable tip is reusable products, shopping bags, lunch boxes, cups, and now masks. You, me, everyone. We got this, Bear Cats. Now spread the word. Thank you, Miss Pekin. Some of you may also have noticed more bikers on the streets of Manila. What's up with that? Beginning in March, Manila has been working on creating a bicycle road network to be more sustainable. This alternate mode of transportation has been helpful for frontline workers to get to work during the pandemic after the shutdown of public transportation. Designated bike lanes are built to protect the safety of bikers. Here at ISM, we have several people using bicycles to get to work every day. Let's hear how that's going. Noel, how Hi. far do you bike to get to school? Oh, right. Um, from my home to ISM, I got uh, 40 minutes, 10.5 kilometers. <laughs> uh, it takes five to six kilometers. Yes, I feel safe biking in Manila uh, because it feels 
uh, my body healthy and then less contact to the other people. What changes have you noticed for oh. bikers? Oh, there is um, first uh, no traffic, <laughs> less traffic, a big problem of the Philippines in traffic. Now no traffic, then um, the pollution. Then also the, we have um, bike lane, um, yellow, co uh, orange cone, and the biking is very safe. Do you feel safe biking in Manila? Yes, ma'am. Why? Uh, because of the bike lane that has been put up since the GCQ by the Metro Manila mayors. I think they're more safe cautious now because they invest in uh, the gear that being for the safety of the bikers. Yeah, safe because um, we have um, um, helmet, then we have a uh, gear, and my light on my back on my 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 bike. And I'm happy to see them using bike because they make the world uh, less. Uh, it makes uh, a less pollution. Yeah, like that. Wow! I can't wait till I can get on my bike. Well, that's a wrap for this week. See you next week for more Bearcat TV updates. And remember, be here, be you, be long, Bearcats. Signing off, this is Mr. Harsky and Miss Bloomarts. Have a great week, Bearcats.